I love it when a plan comes together. Yes, indeed. I love it when a plan comes together. So, uh, some of you might know I've been trying to come up with an idea on how I can build myself a little sim seat. And, uh, you know, part of, uh, part of the rules of my life is I have to do it on the cheap. Not just the rules of my life, but uh, because that's a necessity. I've got to do everything cheap, but uh, it's a challenge. I always try to find an a inexpensive way, the most inexpensive way I can find to do things. And uh, so I've been wanting a sim seat, and uh, I, I got this some time ago. It's actually a, um, a uh, dumpster save. <laughs> So I saw it sitting next to a dumpster, and I'm like, dude, that, that's like a little gaming seat. That would uh, that would make a hell of a nice seat to uh, fly in. So anyway, I've had that for like years now, and um, I was just trying to come up with cheap and expensive ways to where I could set it up so that I could use my rudder pedals. And, uh, and so I think I finally managed to cob enough stuff together to be able to... Uh, get this project on the road so um, obviously that's a wooden pallet and I know a lot of people might think well big deal with wooden pallet well not so easy for me to come across a wooden pallet uh, you know I could find one but uh, carrying it back on the bike wouldn't be fun so anyway and I'm not somebody that I'm the type of person that I, I like to do I like to do things myself. I don't like to have to rely on others. I don't like to ask for help. I don't, you know. Uh, if I ask for help, I typically have no other option. Uh, otherwise, I won't ask for help. Um, kind of just, I don't know. I, I just, I'm that way. Um, so anyway, uh, I had the opportunity to nab this pallet, so I did. And uh, I think it's going to work great. I didn't even think about using a pallet before. I was just trying to think of something that I could use as a base to build this. And I've been thinking on this for a little while. And uh, <clears throat> there was some work done across the street. And they left the pallet there. And so uh, I nabbed it. I grabbed the pallet. And so I'm uh, in the process. And what I'm going to do here is... Uh, and I'm going to take and I'm going to cut the pallet here all the way down and so it's only going to be half as wide as what it currently is and then I'm going to use leftover wood strips here for various different things for one the seat is actually going to set back a little bit like that and so I'm going to take strips of wood and I'm gonna get this setting in the position it needs to be in, and then I'm gonna screw the wood into the sides of the seat because that's wood on the on the sides there. I'm gonna screw the wood into the sides of the seat so that way it will hold it at the right angle. I know I keep getting the camera uh, high. I, maybe I'm not high enough. Anyway, uh, so I'm gonna get the seat angled where it needs to be. Throw some uh, wooden strips there so it holds it at that angle, and then uh, I'm, I'm sure I will run a couple of screws in to make sure that this seat can stay held down firmly to that. And then uh, I had to come up with a way to tilt my rudder pedals up because they don't just operate the rudder; they also have toe brakes, and if they aren't tilted enough it's really hard to get those toe brakes uh, pushed all the way down so I had to angle it well this here is one of the uh, side shelves off of uh, a grill barbecue grill that we previously had and the barbecue grill I mean the whole the whole bottom of it was just just gone it uh, rusted to nothing and uh, both the shelves on the sides of the barbecue grill were in good shape and I'm like mm, I'm gonna hang on to those shelves and uh, cause I thought you know there'll be some project that I'll probably be able to use them on well guess what you know one of those items that you held on to and said 
I might need that someday. Well, I do need it someday. Today is that day. So anyway, I'm going to uh, take, when I, when I cut all that off, I'm gonna have all this wood extra, and I'm gonna take a hunk of two by four, and I don't think it's quite two by four, but you know what I mean, Vern. And I'm gonna mount it up under there just like that. So that holds up at an angle like that. And of course, you know, this will set up higher like this. And it will all be at an angle. And uh, I will have no problem pushing those toe bricks. So, because they, they can be a little high up. Um, especially if, uh, I say high up, but hard to get depressed, if, especially if that's flat. So anyway, I don't know if I'll shoot another video when I'm done or during the process or anything like that. Just showing you what, uh, what I'm doing. And indeed, uh, one man's trash is another man's treasure. And uh, I, didn't, I didn't even think about using a pallet. I don't think I ever thought about using a pallet before. But um, I saw this one over, over there. And my, uh, my head was like, hey man, go grab that. So... Uh, this is one of the projects I'm working on today, getting myself a sim seat set up. Been a long time, uh, long time coming. And then now, with VTOL VR, I enjoy flying the chopper thingy too. And so, what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm probably gonna make me some type of a shelf to put my flight stick on, on this side. But then over on this side, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is mount me something that will swing. You know, it'd be mounted here. They will swing like that for a collective for the uh, helicopter. So that would be kind of cool. And then likewise, I have something over on this side, shelf-like if you will, uh, for my throttle quadrant for uh, flight sim so I don't use the uh, I don't use the flight stick or the uh, throttle quadrant for VTOL VR uh, I do use the rudder pedals for VTOL VR uh, but VTOL VR is not set up to uh, to use a flight stick so uh, you just use your uh, your controllers your VR controllers but anyway yeah this is the project that I am working on today so I hope everybody has uh, a good day, and uh, I'm going to be happy as a lark, I have a feeling. I love it when a plan comes together. Anyway, <laughs> hope you all have a good day. Shalom. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, may I show to you the most redneck flight sim seat ever. <laughs> it's done. Uh, there's been quite a few departures from the original plan but uh, all upgrades in my opinion so uh, first of all I didn't put wooden boards down here um, sorry I was off camera I didn't put wet wooden boards down here to hold the seat down and the reason why is because I don't have to and I like the idea of being able to grab the seat if I want to lay back a little bit more and just grab the seat and let it lay the back a little bit more. All I really needed was to have like a channel here for the seat to sit down into, to seat into if you will, and uh, to keep it from, from moving around. So pushing back or anything like that. So this is gonna be plenty good just like this. It allows me to move it, and it also allows me to completely remove the seat so that I can store this thing upright up against a wall when I'm not using it. So I think that's going to work out great. Um, my rudder pedal setup worked out great. I had to kind of scavenge for uh, screws and nuts and all that so not everything is matching, not everything looks the best but that is what it is. But uh, that's it. It's done. Uh, I'm going to run a couple of more screws here before I take it in. All the boards are going to get a good screw in them. I'm going to grab my hammer real quick and pop the nail heads down. But 
uh, they'll all get at least a, one good screw in them to make sure that they stay in place. But other than that, like I said, I think it turned out. Uh, I think it turned out just fine. It's going to work great. I've I've sat in it and pushed the pedals back and forth, and everything's nice and firm. It is a super super comfortable chair to sit in. And uh, I'm going to get this thing finished up. I've got my tools there to clean up. I've got tools there to clean up. And I've got a table of stuff to clean up. But uh, then I'm going to go inside and play some VTOL VR. Because that's how we roll. Anyway, I know it's redneck. But it's effective. Redneck and effective is good enough. <laughs> I hope you have a good day. Shalom.